So if we take a little bit of time out of our day to look at the channel, you'll see it's been exactly one month since I said I was taking a break, a little over one month since I last uploaded a gameplay video, and exactly two months since I last uploaded the Jedi Knight playthrough. So today we're gonna fix that. Let's go! So if I'm remembering correctly, I'm pretty sure we left off like around right here. I'm messing up all my words because I am tired as hell. I need to be going to bed, but I also need to record something. So, uh, here we are. Uh, long time no see, everybody. Just for the record as well. Um, we gotta go meet Dr. Kadira by my ship or inside my ship? I don't know. I didn't want to risk it because I was on the fleet or like Eltrix was and it was just this whole thing that just didn't, I don't know. Not worth explaining. Uh, let's select Kira's role real quick. We're gonna put here on... Wow, I really can't talk! Put her on heels! There we go! Problem solved, I still can't talk. And it's also gonna take me a little bit of time to get used to SWOTOR again. Uh, I spent a couple weeks away from it, obviously, that break that I took. Yeah, spent away from SWOTOR for the most part. Kind of. Told you, Agent. This Jedi never fails. My team came to assist you. We discovered the outpost was destroyed and assumed the worst. Can you tell us what happened? We have unconfirmed reports the Imperial Spymaster Watcher 1 is on Terrace. He was here, but he left. He's no longer serving the Empire. The head of SIS will be interested to hear that. Dr. Godera, you're looking well, all things considered. Ready to come home? Depends. Are you ready to do what's right? I always was, and our time has finally come. Agent, bring Dr. Godera to Coruscant immediately. We'll be needing his skills. Contact me from your ship. Our Suthra out. Then this is goodbye. You saved my life. I owe you. I'd never have found you without your droid. The Imperials destroyed it, but I salvaged the memory core. Ah, Remo. One of my favorites. Thank you for salvaging his parts. Yes, I look forward to putting him back together. That droid's a hero. He deserves a second chance. Working on Remo will make the long flight to Coruscant more bearable. Goodbye for now. I'm sure we'll see each other again. Now, seeing as how it's been like two months, <laughs> almost. No, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure it's been like two months since I've uh, played this, or since anybody's really watched it, I I, I would assume. I, I, I feel like it's very jarring to just jump right back into the story or whatever is going on. But at the same time, I don't know, it feels right. It feels right, but like wrong. But like right, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like, one of those situations where like, you know you shouldn't be doing it because you know it's a wrong thing, but like at the same time, it's just like, it just feels nice. You know? Or like vice versa, where you should be doing it, but you're not doing it, and it feels better to not be doing it. Wait, no, isn't that the same situation? I don't know what I'm li I don't listen to myself anymore. I really don't. <laughs> if, it, if it wasn't obvious, I don't listen to myself anymore. Ever. General, Dr. Godera is on his way to you. I only imagine what the Empire would have done with him if you hadn't been there. I'm also told you saved a Republic settlement from a Sith assassin. Those colonists were lucky you showed up. How did you wind up there anyway? The Imperial Spymaster warned me what the Sith was planning. Division in the enemy ranks? Interesting. Let's hope there's more to come. Your work here may be done, but this isn't over. Hey, uh, Varsuthra, your eyes were really messed up in that hologram thing. I don't know. What do I call that? I have spent way too much time away from Swords War. Oh, yeah, I've got all these heroics and stuff like that, too. Fun! Fun, but now we gotta go to Narshada. Ooh, Narshad. We're starting Narshada already. This is only episode 12. Jeez, we're like blazing by or something. Oh, yeah, and we're doing the uh, planetary quests too now, huh? That's right, that's right. I forgot like, everything. I also forgot how to talk. Again. General, I've arrived on Narshada. Still no word from Agent Galen? Negative. After Terrace and Ord Mantell, I fear the worst. I'll warn you now, the project there is... I should have ended it years ago. Conversations like this never end well. After the Empire's victory on Coruscant during the war, people were terrified. We looked weak, helpless. The Senate authorized research into science we had no business exploring, using technology to turn ordinary men into living weapons. 
Power Guard program was creating the ultimate soldier, one tough enough to fight a Sith head-on. The best defense against a Sith is someone like me. Your order was nearly extinct. The Senate feared you might never recover. Nar Shada has the latest advances in cybernetics, combat adrenals, personal armor and weapons. Everything we need to create the Power Guards. There's also a distinct lack of government oversight. You're in hot territory, neutral space. Laws are practically non-existent. It's my first visit to hot space. What do you know about them? Huts break laws just breathing, but they let us do our business, no questions asked. I placed a single operative in charge of the Power Guard project. Gave him unlimited authority and enough credits to fund the program. The research facility operates in absolute secrecy. I don't even know where it is. Darth Angrel's henchman on Coruscant said all our research facilities were compromised. Our operative's name and contact data were in the file stolen on Coruscant. Our operative has disappeared, and Agent Galen vanished trying to find him. I can only assume they're dead or captured. If they're alive, I'll save them. But what about the weapons project? Our research can die for all I care. I need you to coordinate with the Strategic Information Service branch on Nar Shada. The Bureau Chief's name is Raikin. SIS headquarters is hidden on the promenade. You'll visit a merchant shop and use a secret turbo lift in the back to meet with Raikin. Promenade, shop, secret turbo lift. Got it. <laughs> I feel like a spy already. Transmitting the location coordinates and turbo lift security code to you. Good luck. Varsutra, out. Okay. I, I don't know. I, I don't even know what to say. Like, I'm trying to say something and I mess it up. I don't know. I've been having a lot of trouble with that recently, actually. Now that you mention it, like, or now that I mention it, really. Uh, I just can't say words properly. I think I need to go to speech therapy or something. And I've said that in the past, you know, I probably need to go to speech therapy. And it was more so a joke, but I think it's, like, a real thing now. And especially since I'm, like... I have a lot of energy right now, and like my brain's all over the place, but also like nowhere at all. Like I can't focus, and my eyes hurt right now, and like, I don't know. I shouldn't be recording. I know that for a fact, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I just need. I need. I need to do it. I need. I need. I need. I know. Stop stuttering. Why? Oh, hey, gameplay. That's right. That's why. So I low key got really tired in the last episode and decided that I wanted to go ahead and. Uh, wait an entire day to record. So that's exactly what happened, just for the record, so if I sound different, if my, uh, tone is different, if my energy is a little bit different, I'm a lot more awake, and I'm not, like, forcing the energy today, which is, uh, perfect. And it looks like, oh, it looks like we got a story arc for Nar Shada. Oh! Oh, Kira, aren't you excited? We got more stuff to do. Oh my skies, a Jedi. Please help us. Innocent people are being slaughtered in the streets. I minister planet with the Republic's diplomatic corps. I was almost killed out there. The Kintan King's gang controls this part of Nar Shada. They're violent and well-armed Nyctos who hate the Republic. The gang attacked me right out on the street in full view of everyone. My bodyguards were dead before I knew what was happening. Where can I find these killers? They're still outside, but I have worse news. The murders aren't the worst of it. My bodyguards all carry Republic passcodes, and now the gangsters have them. With those passcodes, the Kintan Kings can slip right through our security. We'll be defenseless. Don't worry. I'll get those security passcodes back. I fear a Jedi is the only one who can resolve this crisis. Recovering our security passcodes from those filthy criminals will save countless innocent lives, including mine. The Kintan Kings who shot my bodyguards are still outside the spaceport. They have the passcodes, I'm sure of it. So I also low-key uh, kind of forgot the character development that I was trying to do with Eltrix. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm still going, or if I if I remember correctly, and this is just a big if, probably not true at all. Uh, if I remember correctly, I'm trying to break, or make it so that Eltrix uh, is like still very Jedi-like, but at the same time, um, make it so that he's... How'd I put it? Uh, not like a mindless Jedi drone? I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how I'm going with this. I'm not 100% positive, like I said. Uh, it's been <laughs> over a month, and these guys are fine. Oh, come on! Okay, we got some enemies over here, so hopefully they don't get taken over there. 
Ooh, wait, hold on. I have dispatch. Wait, I have dispatch, but I don't have my uh, saber throw already? Oh, that's right. That's right. Eldrick's still level 46. I forgot about that. I did a lot of, um, like, flashpoints and stuff with Kid Lee on a live stream once. That's where I got the, uh, uh, Novik Saves the Day video <laughs> that they made. Uh, that was taken directly from a stream, and, like, yeah. I forgot. I leveled him up, like, super. Because he was, like, a 32 or something? Like, go he would have been a level 32 going into this or something like that. Uh, until we did that. Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Oh, also, I I'm not sure how I'm going to implement the whole adding a new personality thing that I was talking about. Because I had a certain way of think Like, I wanted to edit things. Uh, and, obviously, this video is just a proof of concept. Uh, not necessarily a refined concept, but a proof of concept nonetheless. So this is, you know, me trying to A, add more personality, and B, do a certain editing thing that I'm gonna try to do with all of my videos if I can help it and do it properly. Where, you know, I do the whole, the whole thing I did at the beginning where it's, you know, not actual live gameplay, stuff like that, hopping into the thing. Eventually I'm gonna have, hopefully, a, uh, like, an actual intro intro. Um, a video intro, so, like, I don't know. One of those things where it, like, displays the name, so, I don't know, so it's unique. Kind of like, you know how Kranitoke at the beginning of his videos has the whole do, 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 or whatever that is. Like the, the, like the, the remix version of that or whatever. Um, something like that. That's, that's the plan here. I'm just not sure if I'm going to be able to accomplish said plan for a little bit until I can find a good little thing for Technique Games and, like, edit it and, like, I don't know. Some people in the stream, uh, have given a pretty decent idea, so that's, that's what I'm wanting to do. I just, it's gonna be a little bit until I can get the full concept that I want down, if that makes any sense. <laughs> I don't know. Does it make any sense? I'm, I'm hoping it does, because, like, if not, then... Oof. Oof, then I'm just as unintelligible. Uh, I can't talk. Unintelligible. Unintelligent too, uh, as I thought I was. So we could be running into a problem. Excuse me, sir. Oh, there we go. Let's go, partner. Yeah. Still got plenty of work to do. Yeah, we do. Kira or Laura Bailey. I'm pretty sure that's dude, that is Laura Bailey, right? She doesn't like everything, <laughs> and I'm okay with it. She's like the female. Uh, her and Jennifer Hale are like the female, uh, Troy Bakers of the voice acting industry, I'd like to say. But what do I know? What do I know? I'm not in that industry. What am I? No, I'm not. I'm definitely not. Uh, ooh, what is this? Uh-huh. Not sure if that's something I want. Also, it's a little bit more difficult to be doing the editing scheme that I even want to be doing for, uh, like an MMO, because, I don't know, like, what I'm wanting to do is, you know, I already explained what I want to do, uh, it just, I'm not sure it works with MMOs, uh, it, it'll probably work with, like, multiplayer games, and, like, me playing with a different person, and, uh, like, games that aren't, like, a massively multiplayer online game, you know? Um, where you have to grind and do all that stuff, unless I just skipped, you know, skip the grind for the one time, all the time. I'm just not sure. I'm not sure that's how I'm gonna, like, if I'm gonna be able to pull that off. However, I just remembered I can use my Roche Widow. So why was I not using I don't know, man. I don't even know. Ooh, I wonder, what kind of outfit do I have? I, oh. Oh. Oh, dumb diddly um. Oh. Okay. Well, I got some news for you guys. We got a cool outfit incoming for, uh, Coat Fee and Kotet <laughs> for Eltrix. We got a good one incoming. Aw, oh, we just gotta finish the main story. So that's gonna be a while. Oh, fun fact, I've never finished a Jedi Knight story playthrough on, uh, this channel. The only one I've ever finished, I'm fairly certain, uh, actually, are the Sith Inquisitor and Sith Warrior. I'm, yeah, it's, that's that's those are the only ones I've done. 
Fun, fun facts, fun facts. Um, where are we going? I don't remember. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Um, let's go to the promenade. Oh, it's the promenade. We're going to fly in a orangish yellow taxi to the promenade. I don't know where I was going with that. I never really do. Oh, I want this out. Why does this look on a dude? Because I've seen, like, it previewed on a female character. I don't want the that, but I want to know how it would look with Eltrix. Um, not as cool as I originally thought. Although, I really want to get the Jedi Survivalist arm, uh, armor set, which I could probably afford pretty soon. Um, with, like, actual money if I wanted to put throw real money down on this. I'm pretty sure. I mean, that'd look pretty cool, too. That's almost the same outfit, but, like, I don't know. A lot more clothy, if that makes any sense. As, you know, I'm currently wearing. I don't know. I think it'd be fun to, like, have a character with that. I'm not sure if it's gonna be this character ever. I don't know. I'm talking about a lot of things that really don't matter. Also, the cuts on uh, these Spore Tour videos are going to be a lot more uh, few and far between. That's how I'd like to say that. Very much so few and far between. Just because, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Oh, this is a story area. Oh, this is main story. Okay, I thought this was like the side quest story. I would be wrong. It's a good thing there are no enemies in here. Like, to be totally honest with you guys, I'm surprised that they even, like, left this area unguarded. Like, that's asking to get stormed. I'm just saying, because this is, this is a secret base, and their little secret elevator is not so secretly hidden. <laughs> that's the second field agent who's missed a check-in. Our network's under attack. We don't know that. We know Agent Galen was captured. He's telling the enemy where to hit us. If it makes you feel better, transmit alert level Omega to all field agents. See how many respond. The Jedi who eliminated Watcher One. Glad to meet you. I'm Bureau Chief Riken. Wish I had better news to report. We're fumbling in the dark right now. Sounds like your agents are in trouble. My subordinates jumping at shadows. Hazard of the business. Here's what little I know. Agent Galen came here to secure a top secret operation. Something hidden even from us. Galen disappeared in the Nikto sector while pursuing a contact. Fortunately, he left a trail we can follow. It's a start. How do I pick up this trail? Galen left coded progress reports at SIS dead drops all over the Nikto sector. Unfortunately, that whole area's gone hostile. Had to pull my agents out. You want those reports? You'll have to go in alone. Thank goodness. For a second, I thought this might be too easy. I sent the Omega alert. Only half our field agents responded. I'm telling you we're compromised. We need to move this headquarters before it's too late. The enemy may be trying to flush you into the open, make you easier to pick off. Running and regrouping is better than waiting to die. Evacuating this facility is out of the question. We're safe here, and we have a mission to complete. I've marked the locations of Agent Galen's dead drops. Download his messages to your holo and contact me. I'll decode them. Let's get some answers. Good luck. Yay! May the Force be with you! I'm the Force, the Force is with me. I'm one with the Force, the Force is with me. Yeah, I could be that guy. I'm not going to, though. However, we are going to end it here, so thank you guys so much for watching this video. I, I do apologize for... Oh, actually, we do have some customers, quote-unquote, in here. I didn't see these guys before. Where were you guys before? I don't know. Um, we are going to end it here. I got some other videos I need to record and other ways to improve on this concept. So, uh, thanks for watching. What do you guys uh, think about my new ideas for videos i want to know down in the comment section below may the force be with you and i'll see you guys all in the next video as always enter slash wave wait for it wait for it wait for it 
Dun 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 dun